today and Natalie with you today with a new process video for scrapbook nerd and this layout is actually a very fun one this is a picture of my daughter and my niece and nephew my littles actually last week we uh, have a backyard well we have a pool in the backyard and they love to spend the time there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I I'm gonna combine a bit of mixed media with a 6x8 paper pad so I'm gonna use uh, the Chimel Sparkle City it's all good by dear Lizzie and a little bit of Saturday afternoon by one canoe too and all of this came from uh, the shop I love six by eight paper pads because I use them in my traveler's notebooks and I actually because I use a lot of cut files they're great for backing areas in a cut file which is what I'm gonna do for this now this cut file here is from handy Paper. my friend Ina designed it and I think it's gorgeous it's actually I don't know if it's a free one but it's one of her design and I'm gonna use it because if you see the picture there's a lot of color it's probably gonna save the last nice day which was really hot for the kids to go to the pool it's starting to get cool here in Toronto so I took lots of pictures of the kids in the pool and I'm gonna document them so what I'm starting with is a piece of uh, this is marshmallow cardstock from Basel and I'm adding gesso to it using a brayer I'm adding gesso because I'm gonna prep the paper I want to make it um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna make it uh, sturdier because I'm gonna add quite a bit of water and mixed media to create my background in my ideas I want to create a very blue kind of cloudy uh, background so you're gonna see that I right now all I'm doing is using a pencil to kind of mark where the cut file is gonna go so I know where to add the mixed media and then I'm gonna pull uh, this I'm using Vicky Bootin's art crayon and I'm gonna pull all the shades of blue that comes in the set so most of them come from the neutral uh, sorry from the cool set only the navy blue comes from the neutral set so all I'm gonna do is uh, scribble the crayons onto a piece of plastic dilute them with a little bit of water then I'm gonna add a little bit of water either with this, uh, my little spritz bottle or uh, just some drops of water and then I'm gonna add the pigment using the plastic bag on top of it and then I'm just gonna spread it a little bit more using my brush and adding splatter and I'm gonna continue doing this with all the different shades of the art crayon my idea was to try to go from the darkest to the lightest but I don't mind having the splotches of color and the reason I'm behind it is because I wanted, like I said, a blue sky with clouds in it. I'm not going to add clouds later on. So you're going to see that I'm going to play start with the navy. I'm going to mix one of the lighter tones with it. And then I'm just going to continue working. You're going to see that in some areas I'm going to add tons of splatters. And in some other areas I'm not going to add uh, too many. And that's why I actually use the pencil to kind of draw the area where I had my, mix, um, my cut file. Sorry. So I know how much of the mixed media to add. Now it's always a good idea to go small with the mixed media, not big, and it's harder to go from big to small. It's better to go from small to big. So I'm gonna make sure that I cover the area right outside where I drew, and then I'm gonna expand it a little. So like I said, all I'm gonna work and the way that I use um, watercolor most of the time is by adding a little bit of water first and then adding the pigment on top of it. So what's, what happens when I add the water is just, because I have the yes, so it's not going to soak into the paper. It's going to stay on top of the paper. So when I add the pigment to the water, they kind of mix together and organically kind of like move around the page. And that's how my backgrounds most of the time come together, especially this way. And you're going to see that the areas are going to look, literally it looks like a splotches of color. And I'm okay with that because I really, when I look at a sky that is with clouds, that's what it looks like to me. And I love it. So you're gonna see, like I said, my idea was I'm gonna start with the darkest color and kind of like, you know, slowly progress into a lighter color. It doesn't work that way, of course, because you know, my plants never go as I think they're gonna go. But I am gonna create splotches of blue uh, art crayon on my page and I'm okay with that. I love what this turned out. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up. I'm gonna take it off camera because I'm gonna repeat the same action and I don't think you wanna see me do the same thing. Now, like I said, the key to create this is that you're going to have to have a yeso a paper. You can use regular cardstock as long as you add a yeso on the background because you're going to play with water and um, pigment. So you're going to make sure that it doesn't soak into your paper and create a little buckle. This paper did not buckle that much. It did buckle a little bit because there were some areas where I added the watercolor that were outside or where I added the yeso. So it kind of curled a little bit in those areas. But I'm okay with that. It doesn't bug me that much. So... I'm going to set aside to dry and while that's drying, I'm going to start working on backing this cut file. So the first thing that I'm going to use is 
there's a paper in the Shimel um, Sparkle City pad that has a sun a, a sun rays like a sun a sun shining, and I loved it. And I was hoping that I can like you know create the little center that said let the sun shine in. But for more that I moved the paper, I couldn't fit it into the circle. So my choice is I'm gonna actually work in little pieces. So I'm starting with this paper. It's from the all it's all good collection. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna add some glue to the little, I'm gonna say look like the tiny little sun rays, looks like little pe flower petals. And I'm gonna add little pieces of the yellow paper. Then I'm gonna bring that paper that I'm talking about. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna add glue behind the bigger uh, sun rays. And then I'm gonna glue them so that the little lines that ha the paper uh, have, looks like they are coming out of the circle that I have in the center. You're gonna see that I'm gonna carefully uh, add glue i'm not adding glue to the little petal that what that has that deeper uh tone of yellow because i'm actually going to add a little bit of foam adhesive just to add some movement in the sun rays and then i'm going to continue uh filling out all the sun rays now because i want the center of this sun to be like really pigmented and i couldn't find any of the papers that i like that had the tone that i'm looking for i'm actually going to create my own um pattern paper and for that i pulled a little piece of watercolor paper you can use you can use any cardstock but i have watercolor paper at hand and i'm going to use uh the art crayons i'm using the warm tones i'm going to use yellow i'm going to use uh that orange and that um i'm going to say it looks like a gold tone that comes in the neutral set from vicky the other ones come in the warm set and all i'm doing is i'm going to add water onto the watercolor paper and then add the pigment and move it around and that's it i want something I wanted something that was a uh, very deep, a uh, deep yellow with little hints of orange. So once I have pretty much the area of the circle, I'm gonna say like kind of a semi-circle. Uh, you're gonna see that I'm gonna add a little bit of splatters just cause I, I wanna have the same look that I have going on the clouds, on the background, onto the sun. And I'm gonna set it aside to dry for a little bit and then um, bring it back after to back the card file so i'm going to set it aside to dry and continue uh back in the card file now like i said the beauty of working with uh paper pads is that the designs are i'm going to say more are smaller first of all and there's a lot more variety of designs that you can find in the 12 by 12 uh papers so for example this paper here that has all the bricks has a little tone of fuchsia that my niece is wearing on her goggles and also my daughter has that color in her bathing suit. So I'm gonna use um, a piece of it to back the one of the rainbow arches. And then for the other one, for the bigger one, I'm actually gonna bring the six by eight paper pad from um, One Canoe Two to back it. And the way it goes, I just add, there's different ways of backing a cut file. I just like this one because for me it's faster. So what I do is I add a little bit of glue right behind the outline of the area that i want to back and then i put it right onto the paper and then just fussy cut around it uh it makes it easier for me uh it's something that i'm used to it takes time though like back in a cut file it can take some time so keep that in mind so to back the clouds because i put all the work into the background i don't want to cover them with white instead i'm going to cover them with vellum i love the translucency of vellum and i love the softness that it adds to anything so I'm going to back my clouds with some vellum. I, vellum is something that I have lots of because I love working with it. So I just had some pieces left over from different projects and I'm going to use them to back the cloud. Now, I'm going to start. Sorry, I'm going through its allergy season right now. So I, I'm really stuffy. My apologies for that. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to add actually more clouds onto the background. And for this, I am using this Echo Park. Oh baby, it's from the Oh Baby collection. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white acrylic paint using one of Vicky's stencil brushes. You can use also an ink blender. And all I'm doing is picking up the the paint in this case and just kind of stippling through the clouds. And I'm gonna set it aside to dry. This takes no time. It dries really fast because it's such a thin application, but it is not gonna be something that is gonna show a lot. You're gonna see just a little shadow, but it's gonna give you the idea of clouds and I love it. Now that until that dried i actually went and back the entire cut file not back but added foam adhesive to the lines of the cut file because i want to make sure that it stands um it kind of props from the page i love that shadow that you can create by adding a little bit of foam adhesive now that i have everything in place i'm going to actually start working on embellishing and backing the picture with some papers 
And for that, I am using the paper that I cut from the Shimel um, paper pad, the one that I used to uh, back the arch of the rainbow. And then I found this rainbow paper in the It's All Good collection. And I thought it was perfect that we're playing with rainbows here. And I'm just going to, like I said, I had an idea where that was going to go. So I'm going to go ahead, add some foam adhesive, and glue it onto the page. Now, the only thing that you don't see here, I think the camera stopped because it was running out of battery, is that I am actually going to cut the sides of the, um, the paper. You're going to see right now I am adding the foam adhesive behind the little arches. I just want that movement in the sun. But I'm going to cut the sides of the paper. I'm going to say I didn't want to have all the white space. I wanted to bring color. Uh, this layout is actually going to go into my nephew's album. So I wanted something with a lot of color. So you're going to see that what I did is I trimmed the sides of the pages, the left and right, around a half an inch. And then I'm going to glue uh, this paper. This paper is from the One Canoe 2 um, 12 inch paper pad. I have both the set. And I cut like around three inches of each one of the of that paper. And then I'm just going to glue it onto the sides of the page. And this is going to bring more color to the paper. Now here's gonna go all about embellishing. I pulled all the paper, all the pieces that I had from the Shimal collection. I'm gonna use that sunshine. I love the fact that it's holographic. It has a pink undertone, but I love the way it looks. It's like I don't know. I love the font. I love the holographic look of it. So I'm gonna add it right on the left of the picture, and then I'm gonna bring the Joyful Day collection little office just to uh, finish spelling the title. It's gonna read. The Sunshine Gang, because the three of them, they're the ones that are going to pull together. I'm just the one that sits on the side to take pictures of them. And in case something happens, to jump in the pool. Because, you know what? I happened to be a lifeguard when I was young. So I'm always, you know, trying to stay close to them. And then after that, I'm just going to bring stickers from the collections just to add a cluster. I'm going to add a cluster on the top right corner of the lay of the picture, just where the sun uh, kind of hits the, the layout. Uh, and then I'm going to actually add another cluster right at the bottom right corner of the picture. Just I'm kind of creating my triangle. And then I'm going to add this um, a little pop of color on the top uh, left corner of the layout, like right behind the um, rainbow. I thought it needed more color in that area. So I found these balloons in the Chimel uh, cardstock stickers, and it has all the colors that I'm using, so it was perfect to add there. And you're gonna see all I'm doing right now is just gonna bring a few more elements. I uh, brought this uh, ephemera pack from the Joyful Day collection from Pink Fresh Studio, and I love the fact that it says something about secret of everyday dreams, and this is pretty much what the kids do when they're here, they can live on the pool. Um, so after that, I just added a few more stickers. I think uh, some of them are from Paige's collections, and the other ones are more from Shimao's collections. I am adding some enamel dots just to bring more color. These are from Pink Fresh Studio, and also a sweet, Simple and Sweet collection, and also from the Princess, Little Princess collection from uh, Simple Story, just because it had all the colors that I'm looking for. I added my Lancet Journal right underneath the title, and that's about it. This was super fun to put together just because it's full of color. I love how it looks. Like I said, maybe it goes into my nephew's book. Maybe it goes into my niece's book. I don't know, but I love what it looks like. And I hope you try it. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to contact me. Check the paper pads. The 6x8 paper pads are a great uh, paper pad to have. Like I said, there's lots of patterns. There's a lot you can do with it. And uh, if you're missing anything, like any color, just create it the way I created the little uh, piece for my son. As always, like I always said, check the store. Everything that I use here comes from the store. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you so much for joining me today, even though I'm stuffy and I sound really horrible. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Take care.